Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here for another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to hopefully resolve if you're coming across a VPN error that the connection failed due to an unsuccessful domain name resolution. So this typically has to do with a DNS related issue. And without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into it. So first thing I recommend doing would be to open up the search menu and type in CMD. Best result, check on back with command prompt. Go ahead and right click on that and select run as administrator. If you receive a user account control prompt, select yes. And now into this command line window, you want to type in IP config followed by a space forward slash flush DNS. Flush DNS should all be one word attached to the forward slash out front. Hit enter on your keyboard. Should come back with Windows IP configuration. Successfully flushed the DNS resolver cache. Now you want to type in N-E-T-S-H space Winsock, W-I-N-S-O-C-K, space reset, again, exactly how you see it on my screen, and hit enter. Again, should come back with successfully reset the Winsock catalog. You must restart the computer in order to complete the reset. Go ahead and close out of here, and you want to restart your computer. And then hopefully at this point your issue has been resolved. If you're still having a problem, something else we can explore would be to open up the search menu and type in control panel. Best result, should come back with control panel. Go ahead and open that up. On the right side in the view by section, click on the drop down and select category view. And then select network and internet. And then you want to select the network and sharing center. So whatever your access internet connection type is here, there should be a little hyperlink to select. Go ahead and left click on it. And now you want to select the properties button down here. Select versus internet protocol version four and then in parentheses it says TCP slash IPv4. Go ahead and select that and then select the properties button. Make sure obtain an IP address automatically as well as obtain a DNS server address automatically are both the selected options in here and then select OK. If you needed to make any changes on that, I would suggest you know, making that appropriately and then restarting your computer, seeing if the issue has been resolved. One final thing we can explore here as well would be to just reset our network settings back to default. So if you're using a Wi-Fi based connection to connect to the internet, you will need to have your Wi-Fi credentials nearby because once we restart our computer, you will need to enter those back in if you want to get back on the internet. So just please keep that in mind, take note of that pause the video if need be and then once you're ready come back and then we're going to start with the next step of the tutorial and that would entail opening up the search menu again and type in network reset best result should come back with network reset go ahead and open that up so this will remove and then reinstall all of your network adapters and set other networking components back to their original settings you might need to reinstall other networking software afterwards such as VPN client software or virtual switches. Your PC will be restarted. Select the Reset Now button. It's going to ask, are you sure you want to reset your network settings? Select Yes. And now at this point, you will be automatically signed out within five minutes. However, I would suggest just saving and closing out of any open programs or applications you may still have on your computer. And then just manually initiating that restart process here. So just go ahead and restart. So there you go, guys. Hopefully that was a pretty straightforward process. And as always, thank you for watching. I do hope I was able to help you out, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.